What's really important to understand in all of the blocks that we might choose, or any of the blocks we might choose, is the strength versus the rating and what the design factor means. For example, many arborist blocks are rated at 2 ton or 4,000 pounds, but that doesn't mean that the tinsel strength is the same. This block is actually given a 10 to 1 design factor. The brake strength then would be 40,000 pounds. This block is rated at 4,000 pounds, and it tells us that the brake strength is 28,000 pounds. So then the manufacturer has used a design factor of 7 to 1. Now, one of the important things to realize about arborist blocks that differentiate arborist blocks from pulleys, or rescue pulleys, if you will, is that the connecting link is an integral part of the block. That's right, Ken. With a rescue pulley, and you see we've got a number of different ones here, I'd need that additional connecting link, something along the lines of this steel carabiner. Or a clevis shackle, or That's something, right. something appropriate. Now, we do have a number of different pulleys, and they have different uses. We've got single shift pulleys, we've got double shift pulleys. We've got pulleys with an additional attachment point, also known as a becket. In this case here, where we've set up some mechanical advantage, we've employed the becket to attach the line. So that can be very helpful in this, in this configuration. Uh, another thing about pulleys, you notice the cheek plates. This one here is rounded. This che the cheek plates here are more of a bell shape. This is what's referred to as a prussic minding pulley. When setting up a pull line, for instance, as we've got here, the bell shape, as we pull on the pull line, the bell shape allows the rope to slide through the prussic. But then if we need it to hold, you notice the prussic can hold the amount of line pull we've employed. And that can be a real handy feature. That's right. I remember the days having to stand out there on the pull line. Uh, OK, some other features. Again, with rescue pulleys, they're not designed for the impact loading. So we need to use them appropriately, maybe in as we've got here, mechanical advantage setup, or maybe for lightweight rigging applications. But certainly we don't want to shock load them because if we do, we could have a result something like this. You see this pulley here obviously was overloaded and the result was a heavy deformation. Uh, so making the right choice is very important. Uh, of course, as with any of these pulleys, these rescue pulleys, they are advantageous because they do reduce friction. Uh, but I think the main thing to note here is, is that uh, choosing the right tool for the right job is very important. Right. In more static type loading situations, these pulleys can be very helpful. 